guys, time for another episode of Detecting Savannah. This is episode 20. I get out five different short hunts, make some pretty cool finds, meet up with Josh Floyd, another detectorist locally on the last hunt, and we have a, have a pretty good day. A couple military buttons, Civil War military buttons. Anyway, stay tuned at the end for a wrap-up and pictures of all the finds cleaned up. Thanks for watching. The bottle. Parts. Sixty. It could be a nickel. It's an underwear button, all right. Yes, sir. That's cool. That's old. I like it. Is that? It's tiny. It's interesting. I wonder if that's a ring. Some kind of, I don't know what that is. It's got a design on it. Maybe an old earring. Hmm. Tiny piece of brass. Grab the trash. It's not trash. 
Look at that. That's cool. You know what that is? That's one of those part of the uh, top of a hat. Boom. I found a whole one of these before. It's got a circular. That's awesome. It's got some gold gilt to it too. That is freaking awesome. Musket ball. That is the other piece of this thing. How the heck? That was the lowest conductor ever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Hey, Josh. Look at this. This is cool. I don't know exactly what it is. I think I nailed it, though. One side over there. Candle holder, candlestick That's holder? That's I'm thinking. Something like that. Oh, it's got design right here too. I nailed it right there. Dang. I'm like, there's no way it could be something that big in there. I could've went on, I doubt it, but it could've went on a lantern. It's old, it's not, look at how misshapen it is. Yeah. Handmade. Look. Am I in it? Yeah. Is Eagle. Does it have an eye on the press plate? Yep, it does. That's a great shape eye. I've never found one. Really? Good job, man. <laughs> awesome. It's got a bunch of rust on it. But 
No, 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 it doesn't. That's, well, I mean, no, 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 that's in great shape. I'll tell you what you need to do with this. Let it dry out a little bit. Let's see if you got a shank. Yeah. Let it dry out for a little while. And then don't even, don't brush it off anymore. Mm -hmm. And and just uh, throw it in peroxide for about, about three hours. And then take it out and then brush it off lightly. And you it'll it'll clean every little piece of dirt and everything on off there. What the hell did I use last time? It wasn't peroxide. It was uh This is a cap of some sort. I can't know what the hell it is, but I took a button oh. and put it in there within thirty seconds. I pulled it out in a gold gilt. There's a shining. there is if there's gold gilt on it, there's another thing that, I that don't Peter think. Ellis told me to do. I don't uh, there be. might be a little bit, but you got to get it cleaned off first before you yeah. get that. Just by looking at the back, I don't think there's any gill. Uh, no, not a lot. There might be some on the. No, there's not much gill. That's actually it's in great shape for like that. That's cleaned up. <laughs> Good for this site, man. That, dude, that thing's awesome. That's my first button out here that didn't fall apart. Really? I found, I think three eagle buttons. Can't be it. No. perforations in it. Yes, sir. Awesome. This is cool. Wow. What the heck? What the heck? No way. Something good. Something real good there. All right, let's see what it is. Yes! Yes! Just about to leave. Good shape. Yep, button. It's a... There's something in the middle. This is, yeah, it looks like a block eye. It's like an R. It is an R. Cool. That's like the fourth one out of here. Nice looking one too. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that turned out nice. A couple military buttons today. That's that's a good day. Worth the time out here. I Man, I love this place. Look at that. That's that. It's yeah, smushed up lot, in the back, but that it's a lot better shape. It's in great shape. Man, that's awesome shape. Nice and green. We got details. <laughs> yeah that's that's nice awesome Good time. all right guys here's the wrap up from the episode 20 here so got this nice big start off with this big brass piece that i found 
I think this is part of a lantern. It is handmade. It looks like there's some hand filing on this thing, but it's real ornate. Very cool old brass piece. The, the uh, hole in the center is off-centered. You can see. Over here at the top, we've got this Tootsie Car. Uh, Firebird, Firebird, I believe. And it was made in Chicago. Not real old, but always always cool to find Tootsie Cars. And this is uh, down here a <clears throat> Shaco Hat plumage holder. Broken, of course. Uh, I have found these in the past. Another one, actually, a full one. Um, you can see the uh, design on it. It's got some gold gilled left or silver wash. I'm not really sure. I couldn't really clean it too much more without breaking it apart. And next, you've got this heel plate. It's got the uh, heart in the middle, I believe. And, or it's going to have, I don't know, one of those shapes in the middle. It's got an eye embossed, or a one embossed. And the, and the on the very bottom part right there and probably the size of this this heel plate I'm not really sure what that means yeah it's a one a couple um, lead things this uh, fired musket ball this other unfired or drop musket ball and this Williams cleaner that's been pulled looks like underwear button cool Love finding the underwear buttons, the brass underwear buttons. When I found this, I didn't know what it was, and I still don't <laughs> exactly. I assume it's a ring, a handmade ring out of copper wire. Um, it's got some age to it. I'm really not sure exactly how old, but it does have some age. This earring, I believe this is part of, it's, a, it's an earring, an ornate brass earring. You can see the, the design, the fanciness on them. Even on the back side, it's got fancy all over this thing. Couldn't get it cleaned off any more than that without ruining it. Uh, this piece here, I don't know exactly what this is. Perforated brass uh, piece. Um, could have been, I don't know. If anybody knows what this thing is, let me know in the comments. This also, I don't know. I, it's not part of a buckle. I thought it was. Um, but when I cleaned it off, it's, it's this uh, cool uh, piece that would have had a pin in it. And obviously it was it it it, it operated uh, closing something off or I'm not really sure but if anybody knows what that is now this is this has definitely got some age to it and this this site has um, ancient stuff on it um, everything I've found on this site has been pretty much ancient so um, this thing is all hand filed it's it's really cool <clears throat> at the same site I found these two pieces which are brass they ring up really low they're old um, handmade pieces and you can see they go together like that I found them separately though which was cool I love finding things that match up and then lastly probably the find of this episode is this Eagle R button um, cleaned up really well uh, it's beautiful the back is pushed in a little bit, shanks pushed over, but it is Horseman Allen, New York, back mark. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for pictures of the clean.